Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna add a couple more picture from the uh, previous shoots with uh, Bula Baby, and this time also I'm using the Capture One. And previously, last time I used the Lightroom uh, before for this shoot. So I just t need to test out using the Capture One. As you can see that um, these uh, images is in the bright uh, daylight. Uh, if I using the f1.2, if you expose uh, the exposure a lot, uh, it has a brighter exposure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the uh, brightness first. So slightly reduce the brightness, increase the contrast. So I'm gonna slightly reduce exposure a little bit, and we can check out the. Um, the sharpness uh, of this lens is very nice uh, for the sharpness uh, in this one. So uh, we can we can add more sharpness uh, also. So let's add a adjustment layer, and then um, because this is the uh, focusing focusing plane, what I'm gonna do is um, just on that plane just make it sharper. So I'm gonna use that same paint. Uh, on here and uh, last time some of you asked the, um, the arrangement of the uh, control panel also so basically you just uh, drag it uh, the control panel to the one that you like and then to which uh, position is configurable and if you want to try it out I have a link in the description below you can try it out for 30 days in the pro version just to compare with uh, your regular workflow on the Lightroom and if you support my channel also, thanks so much. And um, so what I'm gonna do is press M in the keyboard. Oh, let me press M in the keyboard and then I'm gonna make it sharper around this area. So there's a, a tripod in here. We need to update that one also and we can because this is in the same plane right here we can make it sharper around this area and around here as well so um, let me reduce the size a little bit okay so that's good and then what we are going to do is sharpen it out a little bit so let me go back sharpen it among radius And then the threshold, so um, we can make it around here. And then let me adjust the brightness a lot more also. And then increase the contrast. So let me check the before and after. You can see that it was very bright in the before and after. Um, so we reduce the brightness and the exposure, and you can see the difference uh, between the sharpness as well. So um, I shot it wide open at the um, f1.2. So by reducing the brightness and we can save the highlight also so we can increase the brightness a little bit and then save the highlight because uh, so the highlight save like that okay so I'm gonna adjust the 4x5 crop a little bit so 4x5 crop slightly adjust the rotation and you can see that I use the grid and the back here this horizontal line as the alignment right here so just like that and then we can reduce a little bit more basically I want those two points are in the same parallel plane right there so that is adjusted but you don't want the background too tilted for the lines so I think around there is good 
um, we can do some uh, chrome light pattern in around this area this black dot right here uh, what we can do is uh, we can try the healing let me change the size and then adjust to this area opacity You can do it like that, the healing, or you can do the chrome also. So it depends uh, how you want to do it. Uh, but um, you can do the chrome mask also, but it's a different point. So you can do it on this side. But sometimes it has a dot right there. So um, I'm going to leave it this for now. And then I'm gonna use the um, later uh, to process on my phone also, um, just in case uh, if I if need it. Uh, so, but uh, I just want to update the exposure for these couple pictures right there. And this is the same one uh, in the different location, uh, the angle different. So I'm gonna adjust the exposure. Highlight save a little bit more, increase the Okay, so and then So basically this highlight right here you, you can update that one also and then the amount let me do the same thing adjustment layer and then do the Okay, and if you want to erase a little bit of the uh, the red outside, it's fine. Let me see. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm going to adjust the amount of the sharpness, radius, threshold. And then let me click the background, reduce a little bit more of the brightness. And then adjust the 4x5 crop in this case. So that's, uh, let me do the before and after. You can see that before it was very overblown because it's at 1.2 and um, the capture one still retain nice detail after that, uh, after the sharpening. Um, so that's a pretty good uh, way to sharpen the photos. And if you don't want too much blue in the background right there, you can just update the uh, selection of the saturation. You can reduce the blue a little bit uh, if you don't want too much. So just reduce a little bit of the blue and uh, if you don't want too strong of the blue line right there. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just copy this edit, go to the next one, paste it here and 
I don't need the adjustment layer for this one, but um, all the other things right there. And then I'm gonna add a separate adjustment layer that has the uh, different uh, painting on the area. So let me press the M on the keyboard. So just make sure that it's on the plane because the 1.2 is very shallow depth of view. Um, I just want that shallow depth of view, whatever in focus to get sharper. So um, that's why I'm focusing on just the area in the uh, focusing area. So right now in this case, it's the full body uh, that is in focus. So let me press AM and then um, reduce radius, increase the sharpness a little bit more. Threshold slightly reduce a little bit. So as you can see that I'm going to adjust the uh, brightness more toward the minus side. And let me show you the before. So before it was overblown picture and after it's much better on the uh, exposure. So um, you can do that by just simply sliding this couple slide. And as I mentioned before, if you want to try it out, um, the capture one on your raw file or especially the raw canon file you can just try it out it's uh, pretty good on the sharpening side and the skin tone as I mentioned in the previous video the skin tone uh, the initial load of the skin tone is better so um, it's good to try it out if you want to support my channel you can use the link in the description below also so let me update slightly reduce a little bit more so so I'm using the leading line from the left to right there are multiple leading lines that leads the viewer from the frame left to right and then focusing on the frame of the portrait also so after I finish that um, let me slightly rotate that Okay, so that's good. And then increase the contrast a little bit. Okay, so let me copy the edit. I have this step in style, so let me paste it to here and then don't do the adjustment layer. Let me increase the brightness a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do the adjustment layer again and then do it, um, press the M. So a similar sequence uh, to edit quicker. So because um, this one is in focus, I'm gonna make only this area sharper and then just the uh, plain field on this area. And then I'm gonna adjust the amount radius back slightly um, update the background exposure highlight save so you can see the difference uh, before and after so before it was really blown out because it's a 1.2 and then um, it was a date uh, light, sorry, daylight. Um, you can see that uh, it's around 11 a.m. Uh, sunlight in, around, uh, uh, in the noon time. So let me slightly adjust the Framing, you can see that uh, the vertical lines, uh, I'm trying to align the vertical line, so let me adjust that. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so, and the last one, this one has a different uh, lighting. I'm gonna just update manually. And this one, the focus is around the face area. I'm gonna just gonna um, update the face area um, manually uh, without doing the whole body framing so what I'm gonna do is update the adjustment layer um, 
so just around this area to get sharper okay so let's do it like this amount of sharpness slightly like that so so that's before and after we um, feel like we need some more light on the shadow side so let me increase the shadow a little bit just a little bit of the shadow and the brightness increase a little bit okay so that's good and um, that, so that's a quick uh, go through of the quick editing and changing the sharpness for the Canon files using the Capture One and thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye!